Hello Internet, I'm Azareth and I'm going to do a Starmay tutorial because it's 2015, it is uh, January, February, January, June, no July, it's July 30th, almost August, and the stuff is a lot different to the other tutorials that I saw. So I'm going to put this online, hopefully you'll find it interesting because you're playing the game and you're new and you were looking for a tutorial which was up to date full of somewhat random mods. I'm not going to go through the actual tutorial, I think it would be useful if you come from say a Minecraft type world, which I did, and the controls are slightly different. It doesn't take too much to get used to, although I do still occasionally destroy blocks when I don't need to because of key bindings on the mouse being different, but anyway, it's all good, you'll adjust. I would suggest doing it if for no other reason than to do it. I'm not going to because I've done it like 20 times and I want to marinate the pieces. So you start off in space near a space station shop thing and that's all well and good. Pirates will try and kill you. Yes, there are pirates. Yes, they will try and kill you. I highly recommend one of the first things you do is press B and get yourself a radar jammer. I have one here. Uh, it's well worth the investment considering at the time of recording there were two bugs which mean you will explode and die for no good reason. First bug being that with long range scanning technology something or other long range missiles to do with putting things together which I don't understand yet but I will share with you once I understand it. Um, pirates will shoot at you from like four sectors away so you can't actually see the pirate. And there's another bug which is if missiles spawn in a sector where you can't see then when they get to your sector you can't see them so you will just explode and wonder why you're floating outside your spaceship and then you'll die and then you'll cry and then you'll be spoiled. So radar jammer, good investment. I also sold my hull. If you start off with 30 hull I'd suggest just selling it. Your first ship is not going to be aesthetically pleasing no matter what you do. Uh, next you probably want to get rid of cannons as well really. Uh, they're they cost a lot and you'll be making a lot. You, they, they sell for good and you don't need them to start with. What you're after is going to be uh, you want salvage, salvage, from a crap load of salvage modules um, I believe to start with I've, I've got like 100 or 150. Do you have like five to start with? Start with five, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna buy 145. 145. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy 195 for a very specific reason. So that's gonna be 11,000 credits, which I realize is a lot. Oh, this wasn't gonna get 78. Well, fine. Screw you. I'm gonna buy 78. I'm then going to buy um, some more thrusters because thrusters are good. Report. Uh, I'm gonna buy another 12 of those. So the 20 is the most round number. I'm also going to look for a rail basic uh, and a rail dock. Docker. We'll need these when we get to the planet. And I'm gonna buy a faction. Module. This will all make sense later, but I'll try and explain it this now. So the rail docks and the rail basic is so that you can dock on something, namely the planet, which is what we're going to go find. The reason you want to do this is because each faction can have a home world, and the home world, as long as you have positive faction points, which we'll look at later, um, home world is invulnerable, so it means you have a safe base to launch your dock, which is a very, very good thing. So you buy a faction module. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about the basic factory at all, actually, because you can build one, it's fine. Uh, we will want an undetonator, because that's basically a small point. We don't really need a gravity thing, we can make those pretty soon. Uh, 
uh, we've got 42k, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we're going to want a, a jump, jump drive module, uh, jump drive computer, which is not cheap, uh, and then jump drive module. Can he, he can get away with one. I'm just going to buy one for now. And once we get some framework up, we'll see how we're going. We're going to need power, um, power reactors. Don't worry about capacitors. Your ship four can hold 50,000, which is going to be pretty sufficient for now. I'm going to buy another I'm forgetting something. I'll work it out. So now I'm just gonna float out into space a bit. Um, I for inventory, ship core, drag it down and select it. Now the, the mouse scrolly is inverted. I'm just gonna see now actually if you can change this. So where it controls, invert ship. Yes! Oh my god, there's a button for that. Go, that makes it like Minecraft. I love that. Fuck yes. Why? X, Y, no, I don't think. I want that. Very good. Oh well. I will deal with it. Resume game. Oh, that's still weird. But it doesn't matter because... So you select it, and then press X, and you name it. And yes, I'm Captain Azareth. And I'm gonna call this one Toot Sweet. And your ship will spawn and lag if you're like me playing on a laptop, but that's okay. So, next, you want to. Don't care about the faction module, you need an upgrade planet, don't care about the other detonator. Pretty much everything else is good to go. Oh, we probably want some storage modules as well, actually. Storage, storage, buy a few more, and there's what I want to. Storage, I want one there, go there. So, in order to build your ship, you need to enter it. So, you go in by pressing R, and then we're in build mode. Yay, build mode. You can fly around with a USAD, Q, E, uh, X does something, but I'm not sure what. Very good. So over on the left, there's a very good thing. It shows you your mass, your length, power, which is one thing we want to pay attention to, thrust, turning speed, shields, and land flow. It's very, very good information. So first things first is with the radar jammer. So right now, uh, the green arrow is pointing west forward, so I'm going to chuck this on top of the core. I should want to delete the core. No, I'm not. You said let the core be this one. You lied to me. I've been lied to. God damn it. Oh well. I'll get over it. I'm then going to chuck down my... So it's, to put them down, it's right click, even if you've got the thing selected. Right click. So I've got my salvage computer. I'm going to chuck some power down. Now there's lots of interesting ways to do power. The way I'm gonna do it, and this is by no means the most efficient way, is just pretty much some straight lines with L bins, which create sort of a maximum surface area. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I do it. So I'm going to press control and I'm going to set a symmetry plane, which is just these advanced for these options are absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go X, Y, build plane. I'm going to click in the middle here. So it's going to set the build plane. Done. Set. Oh, I've got a right click. 
Why does that work so? Ah, bug report. Anyway, so when I put a block here, it's going to put it on the other side. So this makes building really, really freaking easy. The other thing I'm going to do because I'm lazy is I'm going to go. This is this is a YZ plane, so I'm going to go uh, five. Just going to build five long. There we go. So we've got six long there. Which is fantastic, and I'm going to go. Uh, that's high. Yeah, we'll do three high, and I'm going to do that here. And we got six left, so I'm going to go. Oh, we got yeah, twelve left, so we'll do six out the side. No, we won't do six up. So we'll do three out to the side. Here, uh, got rid of one. Ah, test of earth. I'll get rid of that one in the middle. Why? Oh, what the flip is going on? I want to change that option back because obviously I'm just confusing myself. Resume. So now we've got three, four, three coming out the side, six going that way, and three coming out the side here, which gives us. A fair amount of surface area. I'm just going to chuck uh, some more going back along here. So now we're generating about 5,000. If you see there, 5,001. So it's not the most efficient, but it's close enough. We're going to chuck some thrusters down as well because I like being able to move. Now there's no real importance with how you do this. You can do it however you want. The game allows you to sentence. The game allows you to have them hidden. Uh, entities don't do damage to the entities that they're attached to, so it's pretty wholesome like that. Now as far as the mining goes, which is what we want this little baby for, uh, there's some Cool stuff that happens with the guns. So the more connected things are, the more powerful they become. There's a bunch of numbers which I don't remember, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mining rig, and I like to have long. Finish off this up here. I like speed. Um, I also like coverage though. So what I'm going to do is one there and then another one next to it and I'm going to get one up there I'm going to get rid of that one and chuck that one there so now we have so these are 10 long unfortunately I don't have enough to make a 20 long each but we'll get we might get there we'll see how we go so I'm going to chuck that one down Chuck another 20 on top, which should leave us with one. If we build, we go buy back to salvage. The shop's still out, which is unfortunate. That's okay. We will survive. I will survive. Even though I don't know how to mount, I will survive. Now you might be wondering why this is all um, purple, and it's because it's linked to the mining computer. If we go down here, you can see that our mining computer. Self, sorry, salvage computer, it's not mining, it's salvaging, is selected. Now you can select it with C, now it's deselected. If I select it again, C, oh, B. So you can custom chain things, which is pretty awesome. You can see some pretty cool effects going on later. Uh, and I also want to chuck down the warp drive. You can combine weapons computers, which is pretty cool. drive takes a while and it also takes power. So I'm going to just jump into light mode again which is with space. I'm going to press T which brings up our uh, weapon systems and the hotbar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the radar jammer by right clicking. By right clicking. See over in the side here, 
foot drain of about 600. Just did 100. 100. That's the drain to keep my radar signal jammed. If we go back into build mode, we know that we're generating uh, 5,171 energy. So we're getting about 4,000 ish energy a second to play with. Now, if I fire my lasers, See that that jumps up to around 4,000. So we're, we're more or less on par at the moment. And our thrust is pretty good. We've got some maneuverability, which is, which is nice. Now, we really, we want to get as much as we can out of this shot. So let's see what else we can grab. I, I know I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something different. Oh, we want to build block so we can build on the planet. Probably will want more power. In fact, we will want more power reactors. We'll buy another ten of those. Maybe twenty of those. Um, factory ignition. If you're playing on a multiplayer server, you're gonna want one of these. Um, for tutorial reasons, I guess I'll buy one. Capacitor. You want some of these for your, sh for your planet. They hold thirty. So. do more damage by beefing up your um, guns by making them longer. Apparently some can go up to 100, 100 blocks from there with the mine fuels or the guns. You can see with the lasers what I'm trying to do is get coverage. I try and do a bit of a balance between them. I like sort of slowly firing through them. This is, this is very, very slow.
here we've got Chabaza Bazaar, which is nice. Okay, so uh, we've also got some space spacing for that, which we'll use soon. So I would suggest you um, have a look at that. I'm going to press N, and I'm going to open the Galaxy Map. And now we want to find a sector that has the great orbital ring. I did not realize this, but and again, thanks to my friend Rogier for showing this to me. You can um, WSAD moves you within the sector, and shift moves you within the system. So right click to spin around. Okay, so that's wow, that's, that's pretty cute. That is. So th there's the different realm. Right now I'm looking at the asteroid ring. So orbital sectors is what lets you see the asteroid rings. Asteroid belts gives you the points. So you can't go that close into the sun, uh, but these inner rings you'll, you'll get fried, I think, or wood chip or something. I probably just can't, but I'm sure you can find out what happens. So I'm using Shift A to move across to look at the different sectors. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Does that one have planets? Yes, there's a planet there. Cool, there's a planet out there. So we might head towards that planet. It's a green planet. Apparently they mean things. So we're gonna set Plav to that planet there, because it's sort of between the two. So that is an ice planet. I do like ice planets. My multiplayer, I have an ice planet. And I will be showing you tutorials from that one. I just wanted to do this quick start one so you could get an idea of what's going on and how to do it, because that's what I missed. The reason we're not going for a space station start is because it doesn't work. You can't go to these space stations and salvage them and expect to make a profit because you get scrap. And scrap's not worth that much unless you already have kit to refine it. Which you don't because you're trying to start out. I'm sure that's what be. In fact, what I'll do, now that we've got that, is you want to start charging up by left clicking. I'm going to hold that down. Yeah, so the old tutorials used to show that you could fly around in your space capsule, which you can, and you could attach to a um, station, which you can, and you can disassemble it and get lots of freaking awesome loot. Power failure, oh, we're gonna need more power. So we're space to go into build mode. Power reactor, we're gonna make it, so you get more for the biggest surface area. So by chucking one block down here, whoop, chuck a block. Uh, so we five one seven one, chuck a block down. We go six seven two. But that's double because we're mirrored. We're going on the other side. So what I might do as well is we've got the room in here. So I'm going to put one here, put one here, come out, and we're going to get rid of this and that. So we've got a freestanding. I'm going to come forwards. One, two, three. And then we go back. One, two, three. And we're going to come down here. Um, one, two. So we're sort of starting to overlap. We've got, we've got room for more. So we're just going to buy some more power, power reactors by. So you see what I'm doing is I'm sort of mirroring so that in the in the one space where we've got here we can get the same in fact if I take this and make it two chuck that one back there get two get a two and then I can come forwards to this one. So we now got the same now we've got the same dimensions in terms of x y z that the bounding box around this is going to be encompassed in fact we've got one we can chuck that there and as you can see we've now doubled more or less our power uh, without having to do overly much and we can do this again if i go one two three and i'll take here chuck that on the back
that and go there and that. Those don't count as the wings, they don't count as wings. They don't count as wings. Watch, if I join this, our power actually drops. Ideal, and it looks ugly as all wings buggery, um, but it is what it is. And at this point, I'm actually going to chuck the rail docker um, down here, and I'm going to go. which we're not even dropping so we've got more than enough power at this point which is fantastic so charging charging charge charge jinky jinky jink puppy charging charge charging charge which is fantastic so one of the most interesting things i've found about starbound so far is that much like minecraft and I, everyone's going to compare it to minecraft because it's basically minecraft in space Minecraft, a lot of things are fantastic, but it was never meant to be as big as it got. That's fine. Let it die. So now, oh, that's charge. We're going to go. Uh, my radar does not on. Every time you leave your ship, uh, it turns off. And if you lose power, it turns off. So you want to make sure that it's always on. Uh, now I'm going to select my warp jumpy doo doo wacky. And I'm going to click it. And we will enter hyperspace. Right click, we will enter hyperspace. Cool. Effect. This is a neutral system. Yay! Good for us. And we're still quite far away, so I'm just going to start with the charging again. Uh, so this isn't Minecraft. There's a lot of things that are very similar. Yes, it's in space. Yes, it's with blocks. Yes, it's voxels. It's kind of where it ends. Sort of. Uh, I really have been enjoying it. An editor, um, SM Edit, which allows you to do cool stuff. I haven't like, I haven't really worked out how to do anything with it yet, except crash my computer, which is kind of sad. But I'm gonna work out how to do it and share my learnings with you on that one. There's uh, planets, which, as you can see, they're kind of deceptive in size. I think they're ten-sided die, essentially. Right click again. Roll this out. We're 8k, so we could fly. We'll see if we need to charge or get air by flying closer. So I'm just gonna. Oh, that's an asteroid off to the side here. That's good. Oh, that's cool. Don't you think? Nice and close. We'll love it. What are we dropping in that? F. Show up on my nav, please. 
Along with 3D spades, is that this will be color filled in. Yeah, so these are uh, procedurally generated, and my computer is like a real distance as well. And I'm hosting this locally. Again, not an issue on a server. Uh, for the sake of just showing this, I might just land. I, I would highly recommend making some form of beacon or something as soon as you can. I'm just picking the side, it doesn't necessarily look like the best side. Um, I don't know if you can crap. Eventually you'll get sucked into the gravity of the planet. And that's happening now. And I can start to install the grid. Everything's sort of relative, slow down. Okay, so now when I There we go, now we're in the ground. No? Oh, why are you doing this? Ow! Crash landing. Thank God there's no. Thank you for the high collision damage. So we're in a pretty bad spot, to be perfectly honest. Probably gonna fall out of the lava or something. We'll see what happens. It's just something to show, show and tell. So, if you are. if you found a good place to go and when you press N you have a oh look it's trade station oh it's an NPC there's a station nearby and it's a pirate station um, make sure that you do this part really quickly because you don't want to get um, so I'm gonna get the faction block there to get out. I've been spat out. My ship is having a bit of a tantrum. It's not enjoying being what it is. Gravity's having its way with it. We will fix that ship, do not fear. So faction block goes down. No, no, build block goes down. Build block goes down. Faction block goes down. R on faction block. R on, I have to be in faction. I to bring up inventory. Faction to bring up faction. Uh, options create a faction. Create a faction. T T. Yep, I am the Lord of T T. R on faction block, enter faction signature, um, take system control for faction, this gives you massive massive mining bonuses, make faction home, which makes this place invulnerable, uh, enter faction signature, I believe I did that already, and that's pretty much it, we're good from this point, uh, we are going to have some difficulty with getting ship docked, uh, but what we can do is enter the build block and just have a quick look around where can we, or might clear this area here out. So by making a nice big 5x5 uh, five five grid and going into the move mode, what I'm going to do is eat, oh that's not 5x5. Five five five. Four by four. I'm gonna eat. Ah, uh, lunch. Now I'm not getting any of the resources for doing this, so yeah, have a hissy fit. Oh, you're missing out on it. Yes, I know. I know I am. I'm aware of that. I want somewhere for my ship uh, to be. That is. That is. Yeah, it's just temporary. That's all. Just I need somewhere 
that it's not going to have too many issues. If I could mine into a box, six gig. That's big chunks here. Chunky, chunk, chunk. Chunk air. No, chunk air. Big chunks. This is actually going into my inventory, which is kind of cool. I don't know why that's not updating. That's a bit weird. Yeah, our ship's not all that long at this point, but it's again, it's, it's sort of more about creating an area which is going to be sufficient for now. We're not, you know, we might build a hangar. I'm just showing you this for tutorial purposes. So it looks on, on my planet, on the multiplayer server, you'll see more about what I mean. That hopefully, oh look, lava. I wonder if I get the lava. Okay. Freeze this one. Just right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. That should be fine. So now, R, back to the spaceship, up to the core, R, E to go off. again how are we going uh, we did pretty well so I'm gonna chuck down the rail base again I want to make sure that it's gonna be more or less in the correct place so I'm gonna orientate it up I'm gonna try and orientate it up I think that's good that would be in the build block and we're going to chuck it about here um, still in remove mode so we don't even have to build mode put that there oh, no undo did not get a thing undo fantastic put that there cannot build here position block by of course it is so I put it there Fantastic. So we're going to go back and just take out um, these because we want the space for the ship. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. This is very basic getting set. Um, I'm really not happy with the time I'm spending explaining this part. I'm sorry about that. So back over here. The reason this is important, again, as I said, is that when your ship is docked to your home world, you now I've got uh, the rail docker as well, which you want to T and then radar jammer on. As soon as I hit that, we docked and I'm stuck, which is which is cool. I'm stuck in my ship. Oh god. Right click is just a flying thing. So now in our inventory, we can go refine raw materials and we can take one of these and get one. Now, the reason I'm pulling these out really quickly is this is the most ineffective way of doing this ever in the entire history of the world. Uh, you can shift click to get things out. So now we can craft a basic factory and we want one of these, I think it is.
Uh, down. What do you want to do? So shift when you're in build mode helps you fly faster. All right, so we're gonna chuck down basic factory here. Maybe not. Dig out the dirt seed. That's what I mean. I keep doing that. Uh, I'm gonna chuck down some capacitors just over here. One, two, three. It doesn't really matter how these these are put together. Um, there's no specific thing. I'm gonna have to take some power from the ship, probably. Make make some as well. But down, I don't think we've got more storage. We want to chuck down as well. This is probably not the most effective storage method in the world, but it's what was shown to me. So you go one, two, three, four, um, one, four. Finished goods such as ship cores, factories, commissions. Uh, yes, one, four, misplanetary crap. Well, the only detonator we want to put that down because that sets our spawn. So we're just going to chuck that over there for now. Uh, R, so the spawn point set. And R on the factory, we want to chuck. Uh, we're going to change production to power. This recipe, power reactor module. You, we need 20 frame things. Um, well, actually, what we want to do is change to a cap capsule refinery. For that, we need 10 of each. So we're going to go refinable materials. Some tagging shoes here. We're going to go one here. One. This is much slower. So we've got 10 of each. Close that, chuck them in there. That's going to get us the capsule refinery. We've got power, so we're going to get our power supply done. And right click. Stuff's gone, which is pretty annoying. It's somewhere, it is somewhere, but it's all it's up. And um, it's there's after five minutes, but I've no idea where it is. Keep going. So we find more material. Now this is like the basics of getting you started. While you're actually on the, the planet as well, you can be killed, which is important to stay in field mode as much as you can until you get a, a hangar or something overhead. Alright, so now if I shoot this. Yeah, he's good. 
Would have been much easier just to buy another car from the other side. But I didn't think so. It's now we're at 20 beach, so we're going to pop up over here. We're going to chuck these in here. So we're going to do this one. Uh, this. Once you get your main sort of power thing set up, then it's, it's just about collecting the resources and scaling up. So I think we will now the R set up power module. Power drain is 300, that'll be fine. So we've got one block. That should be 10. Oh, I'm using 400. Yeah, so we need, we do need more. What we can do is if we go R, we can deactivate production. That should drop our consumption. Start, make sure you get extra power supplies. In fact, my ship's right here. What am I doing? Well, let's do this build mode. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh no, we should put those back. That one, but we'll take. That one, but we'll take. Eight, that should be sufficient. Now we're generating plenty of power. Which is just as well because apparently we don't have um, we don't activate. <laughs> we don't have the resources, which is fine. We don't have the LN wheels. So we have to do more mining to get those. Next, we want to get a um, standard factory. Standard SDA. Standard factory, which requires 20 
few heaps, so we're going to get mining before we can get more anything. Um, so I don't think any of these are going to turn into anything. So I have to do more mining. That's pretty much it though, to be perfectly honest. You build standard and then the next one and then the next one standard and then advanced and yeah so I think I'll call it that's it that'll be the end of this and uh, I'll see you on my multiplayer where I'll explain better and do more uh, please like and subscribe, please comment, please tell me what you liked or what you didn't like and what you'd like to see, because that'd be great. And if you think this was horrible, please let me know so that I can laugh at you. Okay. <laughs> Bye.